one day I walked in and I was just like, I can do this with my eyes closed. It was great. I love mm. my team. Like everybody, honestly, I, it was in Compton. Yeah. So I worked there. Like, you know, it was giving back. It just was great. Like everybody understood me. There was no code yeah. switching, you know. But um, it was just, it was, it was something I could do with my eyes closed. And I just was like, yeah, no, this is not it. And so I decided to resign there. I It's funny because I was staying there for benefits because I was always told like, you know, you had to work full time to right. get benefits. But it's, it's amazing how resourceful you become when you make a decision. So I'm yeah. like, I'm seeing all these entrepreneurs out here. I know they got to have kids and they take care of their kids yeah, too, sure. you know? So then I started looking it up and I'm like, and I'm in, you know, we're here in LA and we have ways that you can pay for your own. Literally yeah. for my entire family, we pay like $300 more than what I was paying already. It's wild. It's funny because <laughs> most people, before they quit their job, that is the number one excuse. Yeah. I know. Not excuse, but it's number one reason. It's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do about insurance? And mm -hmm. you can pay for it. You know, you hear it all the time out on the social media streets. Like, we are our ancestors' wildest dreams. Mm -hmm. But you got this is a big deal, you know, to have insurance and, like, have retirement. This Let's is what they that. worked explain for. Explain deep rooted. That's yeah, it's, it's what our grandparents told our parents. Our parents told us. And their parents didn't have the opportunity to tell them. They were telling them you were lucky if you could. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a cycle. And so when we dare to break that cycle or to be the outlier, it feels wrong. Mm. It feels wrong. It's like, that's not, yeah, you, that's wrong. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. Because I, 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 now I'm starting to think, I, I wonder why people are so apprehensive as if insurance can only get had if you have a job. Exactly. I'm going to do some research on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you, so what prompted you to leave though? I mean, where like I what was, business are we going to get into? What I had, I had no idea initially when I made the decision. I knew the life I wanted to live, and I knew I was working three jobs. Mm -hmm. Like I was doing, like as people would say, I, I was almost at two hundred thousand. And people would say, girl, like you are killing it. But like I was killing me. Mm. <laughs> so like I was missing time with my kids. I was missing time with my husband. I was missing time with my family. I'm like, yeah, this is not it. And I wasn't it wasn't like I, it was abundant. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I knew I if I wanted to at first I had to deal with my mental stuff too, like feeling guilty. You know, like mm. I said, I'm from L.A. I'm from South Central. Like, you know, to be able to j make the money I was making at that time was like an anomaly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But how dare you think you're going to make more? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And work less. <laughs> Just didn't add up mm. from. And so I had to unpack a lot of that first. Yeah, sure. And then as I was doing that, I was like, yeah, OK. So I knew that I, I you know, that whole money don't go on trees. You got to work hard. You, you know, I had to unpack all of that, yeah. get that out, deal with that. And I'm not going to say it's still not there, but mm -hmm. I, I have a toolkit is what I call it. And so yeah. I dig into my toolkit when I need to, to help me keep pushing forward. 